everybody, welcome back to another Grilling Tuesday. This is another video in the Pit Boss Pro Series combo playlist that we've been doing. And every Tuesday we've been cooking something on our grill. Ooh, that's hot. Not from being on, but from the, from the hot Florida sun. So some of you may know this, after eight years of my wife and I living aboard and cruising in our sailboat and doing everything on this little like 14 inch by 10 inch grill that we hung on the back rail of it, um, now that we've been in a house for a while, it's been phenomenal to be able to do some sort of real grilling, right? With a smoker on one side. So this this unit, and the reason why we do these videos is this is a fairly new unit. It came out at the beginning of 2020. Um, it's made by Pit Boss. It's exclusively at Lowe's, is my understanding, at least as of today. And the uh, the nice thing about it is it's a combo unit. So it has a pellet smoker on one side a gas grill on the other and then right underneath where I'm sitting here is actually a side burner. Um, so it's really versatile. It let's us do a lot of really cool stuff and we played with the smoker a bunch. We smoked a whole lot of stuff and we're going to be smoking something today. Uh, one of the things we're doing today is going to be uh, this really good smoked chicken tenderloin recipe. Easy to do. You can do this with white breast meat and just cut them in about inch and a half thick strips. Phenomenal. We'll show you how simple it is. So last night before I went to bed, I made a really simple marinade. I'm gonna tell you how to do this. It's really easy. And I am all about simplicity when it comes to recipes. So let me show you, share with you what I do for these. And again, I am not about precise measurements. So I like to take all of my recipes and break them down into parts or proportions. It's just easier. And frankly, if you're scaling up to do something for guests or you're just scaling it down to do something for just the family, it's really easy to do. So the first thing you're gonna do is just take a small little bowl or, or a mixing cup or something. Um, and you're gonna add in two parts soy sauce, two parts of oil, this can be any kind of oil, canola oil, olive oil, whatever, whatever oil you like, and one part water, that's it. So two parts soy sauce, two parts oil, one part water. And just to put this in perspective, I'm doing about a pound and a half of chicken, and for me, each part was about two tablespoons. That's it, not, not a lot of liquid at all. So that gives me my wet portion of my marinade. And then to that, I add in a few seasonings. One part minced garlic, one part sesame seeds, and a half part of your favorite seasoning. I actually just use a, sort of a, a, a versatile seasoning, like an all-purpose seasoning. You could use seasoned salt. We love Tony Catchery's Cajun seasoning, so we use that a lot, or Creole seasoning. Um, and then I sprinkled a little bit of ginger in it, just because it had the sesame seeds and soy sauce and the ginger, it sounded like it was gonna be a good mix. And again, parts, in this case, are half teaspoon. That's the marinade, it was as easy as that. Take your chicken breast or your chicken tenderloin strips, open up a Ziploc bag, put them in there, mix your marinade up and dump it over the top of them. Let it sit in the fridge. Overnight's preferable, but if you're gonna do it the same day, at least let it marinate for two to four hours and that's gonna be more than enough. But let's go ahead and get this started. Really, really easy. We're gonna turn on the pellet side of the smoker at 225 degrees. That's what we're gonna cook it at. As soon as this gets up to temperature, I'm gonna bring the tenderloins out. I'm gonna place them on the bottom and we're gonna cook them until the internal temperature is 165 degrees. And I'll let you know how long that takes here for us. But please remember, cook by temperature, not by time. That's how you get it accurate when you're, when you're doing it on the grill. So let me get this thing fired up at 225 degrees. This uh, marinade was real easy to do. It's been sitting in the fridge in this little bag. I got about a pound, pound and a half here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the grill for about 40 minutes. I'll check them about every 10 to 15. And uh, on this particular pellet smoker, the the flame pot is right in the center. I'm gonna put this around the perimeter because I have plenty of real estate on the grill since I'm only doing this much. That will keep me from getting any hot spots right there. It'll be a little bit indirect and I won't have to worry about the ones in the center getting done more than the other. So let's get these put on. All right, we're up to about 210 degrees. That's close enough. We're gonna do this at 225, so it's still coming up to temperature here. And all I'm gonna do is open up my little marinade bag that I had here and we're gonna get these placed right on the grill. I'm using apple wood today, but you could use whatever your sort of favorite is. And I'm placing them with the thicker side closer to the center because the center is the hottest spot in this particular grill. Alright, so we're going to close this up. We need to go at about uh, 40 minutes or so is probably what it'll be until the internal temperature is 165. But I'm going to check the temperature, not the time. That's much more important. All right. Got these I've been on for about two minutes. I'm gonna close this lid and we'll just let them go for about 10 and we'll come check them and maybe flip them over. So it's been 10 minutes or so 
I'm going to go ahead and open this up and we're going to flip these over. And frankly, they might be done in about 20, but we'll check the temperature here in just a little bit. So now that they've been flipped over, you can see they're looking pretty good. Even right here. These are in the sunlight. Let's see if it adjusts the light better. There you go. So these have been in for about 25 minutes or so. And I just checked them about three minutes ago and they were at 158 degrees. So I'm thinking they're gonna be close. Let's check it out and see. So I'm gonna go ahead and get one of the larger ones. And I'm just gonna go ahead and probe it in the thick part of the chicken here. So this is about 155, so we need to go a little longer. So I'm gonna be pulling these off in about three minutes or so. If we've earned your subscription and you enjoy these videos, by all means, please do hit the subscribe button and click on that little bell notification. It'll tell you every time we upload a new video. We put new grilling and smoking videos out every single Tuesday. So let's go check these out and we'll pull one off and we'll taste test it. I think they're gonna be good. They sure do look good. And when I checked the temperature a few minutes ago, they were sitting at about 162. So I'm just letting them finish for another minute or two here. So we're just gonna go ahead and get these taken off and you can see just how good these look here. Look at this. Internal temperature is about 168 degrees. That'll be good and juicy still on the inside. So you can see here just how good this looks. Just move this aside a little bit. Looks good. Nice and juicy inside still. Give it a shot. That's really, really good. Yeah, this uh, it smells mm. good. I'd probably take it out at about 163 degrees. It was 168 or so when I took it off and it's continued to climb a few more degrees. So it could be even moister if I'd have taken it off at 162, 163 and let it just sit for a few minutes. But man, the flavor is really good. Soy sauce and oil and sesame seeds and a little bit of that ginger, phenomenal. Hope you guys try and make this thing. If you enjoyed this video, please do check out the entire playlist and we'll see you next Tuesday back at the grill.